Canopy Growth Corporation, TSX Sweden YSI, CGC, and Aurora Cannabis Incorporated, TSX ACB, are among the 13 cannabis licensed producers selected by the Alberta Gaming, Liquor, and Cannabis Commission, AGLC, as preferred suppliers of recreational marijuana to the province of Alberta out of a total of 31 interested applicants. Canopy Growth was among the first to update the market about the new deal in a press release on July 5th, revealing that the cannabis giant has been allowed to supply 15,000 kilograms of cannabis to Alberta in the first six months of recreational sales and claiming that the agreement was the largest of its kind in Canada. That was indeed very true, but for a limited time. Its close competitor announced a 67% bigger deal just eight minutes later. Aurora announced a similar agreement with the AGLC to supply cannabis products for the adult consumer use market in the province, and the aggressively growing marijuana firm will initially allocate up to 25,000 kilograms of product for the first six months of sales to the Alberta market. Effectively, Aurora may be able to supply up to 50,000 kilograms of cannabis products to Alberta in the first 12 months of recreational marijuana sales and that's a significantly bigger deal than the 30,000 kilograms that Canopy contracted for with the AGLC. Why did Aurora get more? Irrespective of the fact that Canopy has the highest productive capacity for cannabis cultivation right now, the AGLC, which is responsible for regulating private retail cannabis licensing, distribution of cannabis to retail stores, and operation of the online cannabis store, is very much inclined to support local Alberta-based growers. In fact, the AGLC's announcement on the supply deals explained that the provincial body will continue to engage additional LPs as they become federally licensed, specifically Alberta-based producers. On one hand, Aurora is based in Alberta and has three grow facilities in the province, including the 800,000 square foot Aurora Sky at Edmonton Airport, which is almost complete, and the large Aurora Sun, which is under construction. On the other hand, Canopy is based in Ontario but has a planned 100,000 square foot facility in Edmonton that is under construction and shall be operated under a 20 year lease from the Goldman Group. It appears that one is more invested in Alberta than the other, and the former was more than a favor to win the lion's share in the province. Other successful competitors AFRI Incorporated, TSX APH, was a contender in Alberta too, and it managed to get a small quota of 870 kilograms and did not divulge whether this is per annum or over six months. Med Relief Corporation, TSX Leaf, got something too, but no numbers were revealed in its press release. However small the Med Relief quota will be, it's all good news for Aurora, its soon to be parent company. The only other selected supplier to reveal deal numbers was Merica Holdings Incorporated, TSX v Mari, which will be able to supply 3,375 kg equivalents of recreational cannabis products to Alberta in the first six months of sales. The other successful applicants were AB Can Global, the Supreme Cannabis Company, Seven Acres, New Strike Resources Incorporated Up Cannabis, Organigram, WeedMD. Can Trust Holdings Incorporated Emblem Corporation, and Starseed Medicinal Incorporated. Investor Takeaway As previously discussed, the strength of a cannabis player's supply contracts and the depth and reliance in its distribution channels will play a crucial role in generating required revenue and profitability growth necessary to defend current high valuation multiples. Productive capacity alone may not guarantee success in the budding industry, while everyone else is scaling up their productive facilities in anticipation of the great sales boom after recreational sales begin on October 17 this year. Our number one stock to buy in 2018, and beyond. When you buy heavily cyclical stocks at low prices, and then hold the shares until the cycle reaches its peak, you can make a very healthy profit. Every investor knows that. But many struggle to identify the best opportunities. Except the Motley Fool may have a plan to solve that problem. Our in-house analyst team has poured thousands of hours into their proprietary research, and this is the result. Our top advisor Ian Butler has just identified his number one stock to buy in 2018, and beyond. The last time this stock went from the low point of its cycle to the peak. Shares shot from $12 to $40 inside of four years. That's a 300% plus return. And if you missed out on that ride, the day might just be your second.